morning everybody welcome to another episode of car addiction today i wanted to show you the differences between a jim wolf technology ecu or the stephen miller ecu versus the z1 motorsports ecu and i don't know much about them i'm not an expert in them by any means of imagination and if i make any mistakes please leave it in the comment section and so that I can correct myself and also uh, the community can um, help from your feedback. All right, stay tuned. Hey everybody, I will be giving away the car addiction window stickers to one lucky subscriber every month. So please hit the subscribe button right away. First of the back, the one on the left is the Jim Wolf technology and the one on the right is the Z1 uh, Motorsports ECU. And the major difference between the both of them is uh, this is a manual and this is for an automatic transmission, but both of them are for the twin turbo uh, POP upgrade. Uh, this one has the 615 uh, CC injectors and both of them are tuned for uh, uh, 93 octane. So another thing I noticed is uh, it's probably just the manufacturing code um, the serial number on the Z1 Motorsports is 1307 or over the Jim Wolf is 3121 and to me that means this is an older ECU than that. Uh, on the other hand, I don't know what this, the, the difference between the CE or the TR means. So if you know the difference, please leave it at the comment section so that we all get to know. All right, so I'm going to start by opening up the... Jim will first and then will be followed by the Z1 Motorsports CCU. So opening it up is just a star screwdriver. Four screws on the top. All right. Inside we don't uh, see any difference. Uh, they all look uh, Pretty nice clean and almost looks brand new. Uh, it certainly do doesn't look like uh, a chipset from the 90s. So okay. let me open these four. So here's where a lot of you are going to cringe. Um, the major difference between any of the Jim Wolf or the C1 Motorsports ECU is the slotted EROM chip. And on top of the EROM chip has a photosensitive sensor. And usually there's a sticker right over here with more details about the what's inside the sensor. And sticker is missing. So a lot of the guys will be flipping out because uh, due to the UV radiation in the sun somehow helps uh, to erase the memories in the sensor. Yeah, today is a is not a sunny day. It's very gloomy, and there's not too much light. Anyway, looking at this part of the ECU, it looks like a JECS uh, board. I am not exactly sure if that's in uh, uh, quote unquote aftermarket. Let's say uh, Jim Wolf edition or. It came like that stock from the factory. All right, let's open up the other one. All right, by looking at them, they practically look uh, identical. Uh, they still have the JCS board and uh, the EROM chip. And as I was telling you, usually they're supposed to have a sticker with some codes written on it. So I'm sure I can go to C1 Motorsports type this code and it will tell me exactly what's in this chip. I should know what's in this chip because uh, the specs on, the, on top of the ECU has been uh, marked. All right, so let's put a side to side comparison between these two and let's see uh, if they are any different, but to be honest with you, I don't think there is. Okay, we're looking at them. That's the Jim Wolf and that's the C1 ECU. Um, they both have the JCS board. Oh, it's an M4 configuration and that's an M5 configuration. A19051 M002. It's the same number over here. And it's A19000. 
M11, same number, and it's number four, it's number four. Uh, yeah, I don't believe I see any difference in them. They are practically the same board, so all the difference is are the chips. Well, major differences is this slot. So on a stock ECU, which I actually have one, but it's just in my car right now. On a stock ECU, uh, this area is uh, welded, socketed, like something like that. So this chip is not inter interchangeable. Uh, on these ECU, what they basically do is take that slot out and put a different slot in where you can inter interchange the chip. Yeah, that's about that. I don't see any difference. Uh, certainly, I don't know the difference between the M5 and an M4 board, but visually, I don't think I see any difference. Uh, I don't see any new or different transistor than what's in the other board. And if I missed anything, please leave it at the comment section. I would like to know. And uh, please support the channel. Stay tuned and hit the like and subscribe button for more awesome videos to come in.